Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how to simply filter individual variants as well as those in a defined genomic region from the All of Us Hail Matrix tables. Selecting individual variants may be something you want to do for a FIWAS experiment, while filtering out small regions of the genome can be useful to reduce costs while you work out potential issues in your code. So one important note. We'll show code and describe how it's being used in the video, but we also have an article on the user support hub, as well as featured tutorial workspaces in the workbench with the code easily available for you to see yourself. Links for these are included in the video description. So we can begin the process by starting up a Python notebook in a workspace with controlled tier access using an appropriate computing environment for hail analysis. Mine is already running for ease. The computing environment can be changed by clicking the thundercloud icon on the right, and in recommended environments, select Hill Genomics Analysis. If done correctly, your compute type should show data proc cluster. These default settings will be sufficient, but can also be changed if desired. So first we'll set up environmental variables using the command import OS, and then load Hail with the HD38 assembly as the reference using the command shown, since that assembly is used in the reference for the All of Us genomic data set. So I just edited it out a few seconds while Hill was loading. So next we're going to load the All of Us Whole Genome Sequence Hill Matrix table uh, using the following command. If you prefer to use the array data, you would instead use the green code listed below and delete the hashtags on the left. Uh, the array database currently has about 165,000 participants compared with about 99,000 whole genome sequences. So this could be useful if you need a larger starting number of participants. So next, as a demonstration, we'll read and count the total number of variants and samples in the Hill matrix table using the two following functions, this read and then count function. So the output corresponds to the roughly 700 million unique variants identified in the 98,622 genome sequences currently available in the All of Us database as of April, 2022. Both numbers will likely increase in the future as more participants are sequenced. So to select variants in one or more regions of the genome, you can use the following command. You can specify the regions you want to include in the test interval function in brackets. As an example here, we'll first select the variants in all of chromosome 13, then use the second part of the function to actually filter the results. To show that we've narrowed it down though, we'll use the count function again. So in case you're wondering, I edited it out about two minutes of time from that video while the function was generating an output. Now, instead of 700 million variants though, you can see there are only about 22 million. The participant number remains the same though, since we're pulling from all the same participants we were before. So next we'll limit it to a short region of chromosome 13 that contains the BRCA2 gene. Here, I'm just using the exact same function I used above, except I'm changing the intervals in the brackets. So I'll run these and count them. And now you'll see we've narrowed it down to about 18,000 variants in this chromosome 13 interval. So finally, we can actually filter out a single BRCA2 variant. It's a cytosine to thymine mutation at base pair 3235250 in chromosome 13. Note when using intervals to find single variants, you need to include at least two base pairs in the interval. And it can, can't end with the number of the inter variant you're looking for. So here we're starting at 3235250 and ending at 3235251. So we'll run that. And now if we count, we'll only see one variant, at least we should. And that's the case. We see one variant output here. Using the show row function, we'll actually be able to list the variant. And you can see it's the correct variant at base 3235520. So here we go. Chromosome 13, 32355250, um, cytosine to thymine mutation. So one thing I'd like to note is that you can start filtering at the single variant level. I just started using a larger genomic region to demonstrate how this can also be done. And the final thing I'd like to note is that there are other methods to filter variants by gene symbol or RSID that are a bit more complicated and require annotating the matrix table with a variant annotation table. Information about how to do this though can be found in different featured workspace on the workbench, which is also listed in the video description.
So we hope that was helpful for researchers. For more information about using the Workbench, please check out the User Support Hub as well as featured tutorial workspaces available on the Workbench, both of which were created by the excellent research support team and all of us. For requests about new tutorials or walkthroughs, please submit a ticket on the User Support Hub.